now I'm actually going to bring in a STL file. And then I will add support with 3D Editor. So when I click this, it's going to give me the option to add or browse. And then I will locate the file and so on and so on. Before I actually get to here, though, I like to look at my STL file from Ultimaker Cura. So I load my models onto here before sending it off to Nano DLP. So here I have two. And if I wish, I can rotate these, scale these, do whatever I need to here instead of actually using the tools I have over here. It just seems easier to modify it a little bit first using a software and then bringing it to Nano DOP. So here I have this handle that I want to print on the Kellant Combat S500. Having it print like this would mean that this is going to adhere to the build plate. So this clear blue resin is very, when it hardens, this resin hardens, it, it's very, it's a very strong cure on the base. So it's just a little too difficult to snap it off the bell plate. It could possibly break this since the handle is a lot larger. So I'm just going to rotate this uh, with Cura and just rotate it slightly 45 degrees and have it print this way instead. So I'll go ahead and resave that. Uh, so that takes care of that one. And then this Domo keyboard, I'm sorry, keychain that I have over here. Um, I'll go ahead and click on it and rotate it 90 degrees so that it's upright. And I could angle it if I need to, but um, I think this one will be fine to just to snap off. I'm actually going to look at the scale because it's, I need to check those dimensions and make sure that uh, the preview actually is the correct size. So just looking at the X axis, that means that this is 67.701 millimeters. And we divide that by 25.4. And it's giving me a number that this is 2.6 inches in length or the X axis. So I want to actually scale that down and I'll scale it um, by half. And that looks a lot better. And then I'll go ahead and save that. And now I can actually go into Nano DLP and add support. So the way I'm going to do that, again, is if I were back over here, I would click on Add Support with 3D Editor. Browse for the file. So here is the handle. And here is the way Nano DLP kind of shows the preview so i'm trying to navigate around it but the left mouse button uh kind of takes you around the the shape and um it could get a little tedious to navigate this way because any little wrong direction you go in, it starts to tilt the screen all over the place. And uh, this is why I hate um, Nano DLP because it's just a, it's just weird. Like the right click will do it like a still move. The mouse wheel will zoom in and out. So here's my handle and I'm printing at 45 degrees. And I'm actually going to change this number right here and move it. So that moved it touching to the base. And then I will reset the position of my screen. And so there's my handle. 
from here I can go to plate view and it'll show me what it looks like on my build plate and then from here I can click on the object and move it around so go back to layout view and browse again for the other file the domo keychain I'll bring this in and up here you see your models so I can click on model one or two and I don't want the domo to be in the way of this so I'm just gonna move it over here and I will bring in this one slightly towards the center and this over here so there I have my uh, build plate set up the way I want it to be displayed or the way I want the layers to burn. So now that I have set up this, I want to add some support. So I'll go to support view and there's my model one, two, and then my model one. So now it's time to add support and there's different kinds of support, but you can add support the way you want it to so if I click on this I can edit the support type and change how it actually looks so one thing I've learned when using the Kellen combat s 500 is to use smaller supports it just depends on what you're printing and so on Since this is the first time I'm going to be printing something with a little more weight because this is a solid handle, that means it's going to use a lot of resin and it probably has a little bit more weight, but I don't know uh, how it will handle um, this way and if I decrease the support body radius. So I'll go ahead and hit, hit add. And then I can just click where I want the support, like so. And if I want to delete this, and then I go up here to this red X and click it, it's gone. So this is an angled print, and I want to avoid using support on the bottom so that it can stay flush with the where it's going to be attached. And I don't want to use flush cutters on the bottom of this handle uh, so that it could be smooth. So I'm not even sure where the support needs to go, but I'm just gonna uh, take a look at this and just guess. So I will start by Adding support here, 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 and just go across. And try to navigate across. And I don't want those last two supports, so I'll go back and delete it. But I think I'll be okay with this. You don't want to get a failed print because it just wastes resin. You have to clean up and it's just not worth the effort. So this is build plate to the edge. And I guess maybe I could add some support here, but I'm just going to go ahead and trust the printer on this one. 